The Obama administration facing new calls to change the strategy for fighting terrorism as it's still having trouble finding a way to actually say the words radical Islam. Former Senator and Vice Presidential nominee Joe Lieberman spelling out a global strategy to turn the tide. He says it all begins with going on the offensive and acknowledging we are at war with violent Islamist extremism. Then nations under attack should actually declare war on those terrorists. He says the U.S. should lead a global alliance with the goal of destroying radical Islam and use Western values as a weapon against the enemy. And Senator Joe Lieberman is my guest in studio. Great to have you here. Thanks, Christian. And it was great a great article. You. I mean, you, you spell it all out and, and you call it what it is. Why will this administration not do that? I, I don't understand it. I, I had a running battle with them uh, during the uh, years I was in the Senate. Um, yes, there are other, sure there's forms of extremism that threaten us, but the one we're at, at war with is violent Islamist extremism. That's the force that attacked America on 9-11. That's what we in Congress authorized the president uh, to take military action against after that. That's obviously uh, who is responsible for the three uh, murders, the, that is the three attacks in France last week. So, you know, you go back all the way to the uh, to the Chinese philosopher of war, strategist Sun Tzu, and he said, the first thing you got to do when you're at war is know your enemy and call your enemy what it is. <laughs> exactly. This is not violent extremism. This is violent Islamist extremism. So how do we combat it if this administration will not call it what it is, even after these attacks in Paris? Well, that's the purpose of the, the piece I wrote for the Wall Street Journal today, and, and I, uh, because I think things may have changed in Europe. Uh, our closest allies in the world after the attacks last week, uh, and what I'm saying is, yes, we're all Charlie now, you know, Charlie Hebdo, but are we willing to do what's necessary to make sure that uh, no more cartoonists or writers or artists are killed because of what they well, do? What do we need to do then, in what, your mind? What we need to do is first acknowledge that the violent Islamist extremists declared war on us, frankly, a long time ago. And, and it, it, we have not declared war on them. We respond to episodes, to attacks like last week's, and then we recede. This is a, a world war. They're everywhere in the world. And I'm saying the United States should lead, lead an international alliance that is broad, that includes some Arab and Muslim uh, countries, that sets as its goal something very direct, destroy uh, the Islamists. L uh, listen to Catherine Herridge's report. We ought to be uh, destroying those training camps in Yemen. We, we ought to uh, actually n not be weakly uh, taking on uh, ISIS right. in Syria and Iraq. We ought to be destroying them. That's and the way it ends. 